So this is magnetic, so once you attach it, camera just pops on and you point it. So this plug attaches directly to the camera. This plug attaches to the power source and these just snap in together. They line up with the two dashes. So here's the remnants from my Google Nest Cam generation two outdoor camera setup. <clears throat> very, very straightforward. Literally just a couple of screws and uh, running the wire is probably the most time taken part, which is a first world problem. Everything else is straightforward. You literally just screw these into that base that I showed earlier. Comes with everything you need. Comes with the QR code to link it to your Google Home app at the end and uh, directions, which I didn't even need to read. It was that straightforward. So here it is fully installed and running. And you probably cannot see the green light, but that pops on whenever it's shooting live video. And you can see I ran the wire inside my home. I'll clean that up a bit before I finish, but only installation step is to install those two screws to lock the base in. And then the camera attaches magnetically to it. Very, very easy. So I got my new Google second gen wired Nest Cam set up. I've got some live video playing here. Setup was very easy, as it always is. I, uh, I use Google Home for my whole home, so I have lights, cameras, displays, and uh, it's all via the Google Home app. If you don't use Google Home already, you will have to get ingrained in that system to use this camera. So probably if you're looking at this camera, you already use it. I got this because my garage camera, which is the one pictured now, sees the most activity, and so for the battery cameras, which are nice because you don't have to run the wiring, they run out too fast. And I was finding myself constantly either not charging it or just getting annoyed having to charge it, you know, more than once a week at the end. Um, and also, this is also the camera that's the farthest away from my Wi-Fi signal. And so with the first gen cam, it really would struggle to do live video. What I noticed immediately with the new cam is that the live video works well. Uh, and so I, I would suppose the Wi-Fi strength is stronger. Whatever chip they use to capture the Wi-Fi signal works better. The video is very, very good quality. <clears throat> I would say, you know, the video was pretty good quality with the old camera too. I wouldn't say it's a stark difference, but it, I do definitely see a difference. It's sharper, it's clearer. The biggest thing I notice right up front though is that the Wi-Fi signal is stronger and I can have this camera uh, all the way on the opposite end of my home, which is pretty large. And, uh, and it still can uh, stream live video at any point. So that's great. Um, the Google Home app, you can kind of see, you know, this is how it works. It has different categories. Here's the two cameras. Um, this works well, it was very easy to set up. Like I uh, included the video clips earlier in this video, you simply drill the holes and twist the camera in, and then you run your wire and you just make sure that you've got enough wire. The included wire is about 18 feet. The screws and all the equipment needed to install it or include it other than a screwdriver and i used a power screwdriver to uh, install in my uh my garage base um the camera works well it was easy to set up if you are familiar with the google home experience uh, and you have one of the previous generation cams this is more of the same it's slightly better quality it has a much better wi-fi signal again that's the only thing that stands out and the audio sounds sharper and crisper as well if you're looking for that stuff uh this would be a good fit for you it's a better version of the previous cam good stuff